Okay guys, it's a little noisy because we are about to do the Love Struck Bubble Bar from the Valentine's Day range of Munch! Yay! Got a love look. So let's go ahead and plug up the tub and run his little butt underneath water. He's a new scent for lunch. He's kind of lemony, um, sweet, little florally going on there. He just is all around a pretty cool smell. He's very unique and different. Not something I have recognized from Lush lately, uh, but he does have that underlining citrus tone that Lush kind of always seems to toss in there. I don't know why they, they use so much citrus, but hey, it works, right? Oh, he, he's breaking apart fast, damn. I was not expecting him to go so fast. Oh, he, yep, he's going fast. He still got his smile, though. There we go, let's just go ahead and let him go. Oh, he crumbled real nice. I noticed on Lush Lock's video, he was a little kind of like, kind of gummy in there, but this one crumbled really, really nice. I kind of left them out of his package for a day, just so that way I could smell them a little more. I like the smell, but it's not one of my favorite. I honestly don't think that he's going to stick around unless he becomes like a cold following type deal. But I don't know. You guys tell me, what do you think? Has anybody else smelled him or tried him or smelled him in the store or anything? What do you guys think of him? I think the whole concept is, is really cool. Um, he is breaking down in the bottom here. There are some chunky pieces, but he's, he's dispersing nicely. The watercolor is orange, it's not yellow. <laughs> I know we're on like a, a yellow kick lately. With all the bath bombs and stuff that we're doing, but... I think this one's kind of cool. I gotta say, as a whole, he's not my type of smell. He's okay, but... He's nothing spectacular, but in the water, I really like this. I really like it in the water. Like, does that make any kind of sense to you guys? Because it, it makes it to me in my own head, but I don't know if it's making it to you. Uh, I know it's a bit noisy, but every time we do a bubble bar, it's gonna be noisy. Just the way things happen. But I have got to say, I am kind of really enjoying the smell and the aroma it's giving off in water more than I like it as a dry item. See, that's the thing with Lush. You really got to test it out and give it a shot to see if you actually like it. And with me, a few times I have not liked the hated a product. I used to hate Lord of Misrule. Like, hated a product, and then it grew on me. I just kept re-sniffing it or re-smelling it or going back into it and thinking, you know something, this is actually really good. Rose Jam, Snow Fairy, same thing. Hated them. All of a sudden, they're not so bad. <laughs> and then you got Love Struck, which doesn't smell bad, but doesn't smell good. Like, it's good. All right, let me rephrase that. Doesn't smell bad, but doesn't smell like something spectacular, you know? Doesn't give you a scent... Like, look at my bubbles we got going. Now, mind you, I, I use the whole bubble bars just because I like to, to demo the whole thing for you so you guys kind of see what you're getting into. Um, wow, I have, like, almost no water still. Um, but with the lack of water pressure, you're basically going to see, without really agitating it, what it does. But as per agitating, look. It bubbles up real nice when you agitate. I just don't want to put a lot of work <laughs> into a nice relaxing bath. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. But I gotta say, bubbles are pretty good on this bad boy. I mean, I could pause and come back and, you know, but then, what's the point? I've worked out just to get in and relax? Nah. All right, so let's get back into it. Now, it's not a scent that I am taken away with, like, oh my God, it's so good. It's, Kind of like a citrusy, florally type standard lush scent. Um, not wholeheartedly impressed, but not disliking it. Liking it a lot more in water, though, I gotta tell you. A whole lot more in the water. Do I like this bad boy? Really liking him in the water. Oh, yeah. I also have the Cupid bath bomb I want to do soon because... I'm like really, 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 really loving that smell. 
it's like a, a tartyish kind of raspberryish smell, but yet very florally. It seems like a lot of their Valentine's Day range is a very floral type smell. Except for, man, unicorn horn, that's like a nice lavender kind of chamomile, sleepy type smell. I'm in love with unicorn horns. That is my big infatuation with this, this line. Um, I am not too pleased with the Easter range. The Mother's Day range is pretty decent. I was hoping for that big giant sunflower boulevard to come back. I don't see it making a debut. I think last year that was amazing. Um, sunrise soap. I was so disappointed that the U.S. got Sunrise Soap and the U.K. got the giant Sunflower Bubble Bar. And I was like, damn it! <laughs> and then, you know, I had ordered the, the Bubble Bar from the U.K. and then said, oh, okay, well then I'll order it again when we get it in the U.S., not realizing, no, we don't get the same products. So, I learned the hard way, guys. But if you see something you like in the U.K. and you have done your research and found out that it is not going to show up in the U.S., get it while you can. Um, as per the ladybird, I love the fact that you guys in the UK call the, la the ladybird, the ladybug, a ladybird. I think that is so cute. It is so adorable. I really like that. That really tickles me. We are building a lot of bubble here. I might not be able to get in this. I have to get in this. <laughs> I like it that much. And I'm not going to waste the bath product. Oh, it's bubbling. I think it did pretty well. It did pretty damn good. I mean, it's... The height is like... It's up. It's up really high. So, it did pretty damn good. It's got a pretty orange watercolor. It's not really yellow. Um, can you see a little bit down there? Let me, get, let me build you a hole. So we can get you in. It is orange. It's not... Move, buddy. Get out of my way. It is orange, it's not yellow, it kind of looks like apple juice, or as most of you might say, it looks like piss. And we have been doing piss-colored bombs and bubble bars lately. <laughs> but all the little pieces have melted and dispersed. Um, as per moisture, it's kind of moisturizing. I'd give it like a 5 or a 6. It's not too moisturizing, but then again, with a bubble bar, you don't really want that much moisture, because it's going to kill off your bubble. I tend to think this is really cool. The smell is just good. It's good in water. It's unusual. It's not something I have had before. It's like a new fragrance. You know what I mean? You know, it's not, you can't find it in a bath bomb. You can't find it in a shower gel. It's just a new fragrance. And as for lingering on my skin, it's lingering on my skin very nicely. I like the smell. I like the way, it, you know, the, the, the smell on your skin. I like that. Would I purchase this one again? I think I will. I think I want another one. I really do think I want another one of these. It's just not my favorite of the line. I think my favorite one of the line is gotta have to be, I like the Cupid that much, and I love the Ladybird, and I love that the UK calls Ladybugs Ladybirds. I think that's so cute. Because it's got two different names, like the Ruby Red Slippers bubble bar. It's Ruby Red Slippers in the UK and Sparkling Red Slippers in the US. Okay, <laughs> confuse the shit out of us, Les. But the ladybug is the ladybug here in the U.S. on the site, and on the U.K. site, it's the ladybird. Now I know why. So thank you to my subscriber who let me know that in the U.K., you guys call those ladybirds. I do think that's a very nice bubble bar. If you're looking for something that is sweet, florally, but yet minty, you definitely want to get a ladybird. A ladybird bubble bar or ladybug bubble bar. So anybody who's looking for anything that has a little mint put in it, but yet still smells floral and sweet, you definitely want to get a ladybug or ladybird, or whichever way you want to say it. And it is a bubble bar. It is available now. Uh, any other questions you guys have or any other information you guys can inform me about, please leave it in my comments down below. If you enjoyed this bubble bar demonstration, then uh, go ahead and let me know. And if you have yet to subscribe to this channel and you would like to, go for it. Yeah, this one, this one worked out nice. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Oh, wow. <laughs> this was good. I gotta say, for being afraid that I would not be able to produce bubble due to lack of water pressure, 
I'm not nervous. I, I wow. That really, that is going to take a moment to try and dig my way down to get in there. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Love Struck Bubble Bar. Yes, I will purchase myself another one of these bad boys. I happen to really, really, really like the smell of it in the water, not the smell of it outside. It smells, I don't know, it's, it's so different. It's so, it's something that, it, it's not amazing. It's not like, oh my god, it's so good, but it's good in its own right. You know what I mean? Nice fluffy bubbles. Not like thick bubbles, like, you know, if you stuck some Dawn in here, that would be kind of fluffy. By the way, that's dishwashing liquid if any use it, not in the US. Um, <laughs> but they are fluffy, and they are pretty, and they do, see, they do just like float around. I think this did really well. I'm really impressed. All right, guys, I am going to rub my face down in some cup of coffee face mask. Um, I did get a little sample of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that one up. And I'm going to jump in my Love Struck Valentine's Day Lush Bath and enjoy myself. So let me know what you guys think about this product. It is a completely new product, new scent, new everything for Lush. Let me know how you guys feel. If you want to get it, if you've gotten it, what your thoughts are on it, um, if you think you would like it, anything. Let's talk Lush. I love talking Lush. I know I've done a lot of Lush this week. But... I have it, so I have to start doing it. <laughs> um, I also have some other companies coming up, uh, two other companies that I'm utterly in love with, and some more on the way. So I love you guys, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.